Hello everyone, welcome back to the Art Studio. Today I'd like to tell you about this fantastic painting by Pro Hart. Many Australians have heard of Pro Hart because funnily enough he's actually probably one of our most famous artists. And even though the Academia of the Art World weren't particularly um, enamoured of Pro Hart, the wonderful thing about him is that Australians absolutely love his work. And one of the interesting things that I've noticed being an art dealer is that when people are starting to collect artwork, generally um, a lot of people buy Pro Heart first. So that just shows you the love that people have for Pro Heart. I'd like to talk about this painting in particular because it's a very fine quality work by Pro Heart. And there are some little clues that I can impart to you as someone who's been selling Pro's work for over 20 years about what to look for when you're looking for a quality work. Now if we zoom into the painting a little bit over here and have a look at the bottom of the artwork, we can see along the bottom here that Pro Heart has actually titled the work as part of the painting. It's been hand painted, that, um, his signature and of course so the title. And the title is The Six Stand Shed. So you don't see that very often in Pro Heart's paintings and I think for him to have taken that extra little bit of time to include that on the bottom of the painting is an indication of its quality. I sold one not so long ago that was similar with a lovely title along the bottom as well. So it's just one of those things that pops up and I hope you might find that a bit useful when you're collecting. But if we talk about the actual painting itself now, it's a lovely big work. It was painted in 1999. Now Pro Hart died in 2006 and he was actually born in 1928 in Broken Hill. And his love of the country and his lifestyle and his history with being from the country comes through in lots and lots of his pictures. And I particularly love this because this is about shearing, because the six stand shed refers to the, um, a style of shed that's used by shearers. And we can see that along here if we count one, two, three, four, five, six. That's where um, the sheep come out after they've been sheared, hence the six stand shed. And gorgeous little things that I love that Prahat puts in his paintings is often a little black dog somewhere. And if you're lucky enough, which I think is hilarious, you might often see one peeing on a post. And I just think that's very Australian. And um, that's what makes Prahat so endeared to so many people. And he's great. He adds a little bit of colour into the painting here and there just to keep us interested. But overall, he's maintaining this feeling of the Australian outback with all the beautiful um, deep colours that we associate with the outback. And it's very detailed. There's lovely work here um, in the old roof. You've got the corrugated iron ridge here. We've got the fabulous old windmill in the background and these brilliant trees that um, Pro Hart is known for doing. And they're fantastic. It's really unique the way he does them and they're very distinctive in his pictures. And we can see um, here the sort of fluffiness that he achieves. And I'm not sure if this is true, so don't quote me on it, but someone did once tell me a story about Pro Hart and say that these were chopped off old um, shaving brushes so he could um, stump the paint in and then put it on and get that really beautiful effect. And in closing, it's just lovely to know um, the history with this, how it connects back to Pro Hart's early life, because he was born, as I said, in 1928 in Broken Hill, but he spent his early um, childhood on a sheep station called La Luna, which was about 130k out of Broken Hill. And from there, he went on to become one of Australia's most famous artists. Um, he illustrated his homework from about age seven. So art was always going to be a part of his life. So I hope you've enjoyed that little bit of insight into Pro Heart. And if you have time, it'd be lovely to show it to you in my studio at Budrum. Thanks for listening.